Hi, my name is Arash, and in this video I'm going to give you an introduction about expression formatting and evaluation engine. I'm going to describe simple values, and then we're going to start writing some expression in code to be evaluated. In the heart of Flex rule, there is a flexible and dynamic evaluation engine that deals with parsing and evaluating expressions. This is a dynamic engine because it doesn't require compilation and it doesn't enforce its typing. But before we go to details, let me describe what is an expression and what do I mean by evaluation. Expression is a combination of values, variables, operators that can be computed by flexural dynamic evaluation engine and a value will be returned as a result of this computation. In computer science, value is a type of expression that cannot be computed furthermore, and variable is a placeholder for a value in an expression. And operator is like a function that applies on one or more operands in an expression and changes the value of evaluation. In general, it is a symbol that represents an action on values or variables. Flexor supports some basic types and their operators and simply discovers any other external types and related operators dynamically when evaluating an expression. Let's go and see what are these simple types and their operators. String values are series of characters that should be enclosed in the single or double quote symbols. Numeric values are any type of numbers and normal mathematical operators can be applied on them. Boolean values can be only true or false and the following Boolean operators are defined on them. Daytime value represents the date and time and should be enclosed in a hashtag. Timestamp value represents span of time and should be enclosed in a hashtag curly. Comparison operators compare a value or variable to another. Priority operator creates a sub-expression with higher priority for evaluation. Object member operators allow access to properties, fields, methods of objects, as well as items on arrays and lists. Assignment operator assign a value to variable or property or field of an object. Conditional operator returns a value based on a condition. So far I showed you the list of most common used operators and types, and now let's write some code and evaluate some expressions. 2 plus 2 in this sample is an expression that is written as a string. Evaluator engine would parse expressions to its tokens and execute them. This dynamic evaluation engine will be able to evaluate complex expression containing variables, method calls, properties, field axes, and all those combinations we just introduced in this session. For the last simple example, let's evaluate a string value as an expression and play with the length property of the string. Okay, now let me introduce a class called person and then I'll write an expression using variables and pass an instance of this person for evaluation on the expression. To register a variable that becomes part of evaluation, we need an instance of a class called variable container and then we can pass this container to compute method. As you can see now, we have just introduced a variable called p to be used in our expression. We 
we have used name property of this person class in our sample expression. Now let's create a method and call this method in our sample expression. Obviously, your methods can get as complex as you want. For example, let's add a parameter to method name write code. To summarize, in order to evaluate an expression, you use expression eval compute method, and to register a variable, you use variable container and then pass its instance to compute method.